Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sagar Prachapati and in this video I will be talking about that if you are preparing for Azure Data Engineering or Data Engineering then how to get a job and what should be prepared and what should not be prepared okay in the market in the course there are multiple courses or multiple topics are available so you should not be worry about all the topics while you are preparing for the interviews or for the job okay so if you are someone who are you know transitioning from you know from you know from different domain to this data engineering domain then please watch this video till the end you will definitely get some uh, good uh, knowledge from this video okay in the background which you are seeing right now it is from my first home okay so i will show you i will give you a home tour and coming videos not now okay so chalo let's get started so first of all if you are learning see if you are going to start the career in data engineering first thing is very important that sql you should know sql if you are very confident in sql then definitely you will get a job even though if you do not know spark or some other system okay now why i am saying because see you are going to deal with the data what is data engineering data ka engineer right so if you do not know and you know that you know how we can interact with databases or the tables is from sql yeah that's true that we can also connect via java we can also connect via python we can connect via maybe some other api right but ideally you know uh, we we connect with databases using sql so sql is must now there there might be some you know uh, questions or doubts that how much sql is needed yaar yeah. so see first of all if you are very beginner if you like coming from a fresher or from from the you know from the background where you haven't written any sql statements then just focus on uh uh you know create statements you know how to create how to insert the curd statements we 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 call it right so you have to focus on that and after that you know once it is done then go with you know how you can uh, use like how you can you know join two tables first go with two tables then go with three tables then go with four tables then how to create cities how to write complex queries where we are having you know having where uh, you know between or uh, some join some cities right like that how you can do it see i am just again telling you that if you are learning just learn curd operations and learn how to join right and then what is group by what is having what is where these three things like operator between operator in and or operator right and uh, uh, cities right and then you can go with views how many type views we have and you can also go with the stored procedure how to create a stored procedure procedure and how to execute a stored procedure with parameters and without parameters right and if if you have the time then go with the indexes okay you do not need to then go deeper and understand how the sequels are running you know like that you should not be worry about in this stage later if you get a time if you get a job then you can definitely do it okay chalo this is first thing now second thing is that if we now after that learn python now why python is very important you might be see i i got many questions hey sagar why python is needed and is data in data structure is needed there or not see the first question or the first answer is that see python is needed because because with the python we can connect to the different sources easily okay first thing is that many connectors many libraries are already present you don't need to write your own code you just you know need to import those modules or packages then everything will be taken care by the by the python right and now the second question say, say, uh, comes that you know dsa is needed or not see dsa is needed obviously yeah see if you do not know how to how to write a code you just if you know only you know what is for loop what is you know list what is stuff like that bro this is 2024 this is not 2016 or like that okay so you have to learn dsa you should know how to create a you proper framework see where dsa is required when you are making some frameworks okay now if you have a if if you have knowledge in dsa if you have heard about queue right so you might be understand you know why queue is being used and how the queue is being used in real real world problems in you know in data engineering so you, you might be you, you 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 might think that you know we are having a kind of uh, uh, you know 100 files right or 100 tables which needs to be processed 
now i am saying that you know i need to prioritize some table depends on based based on some parameters based on some values right then i will be using a priority queues data structure for that you know so when you are making some frameworks utilities then dsa is required not everywhere okay now the third thing is if you are if you do not know if you are confused you know what should i learn after that it's better to learn you know spark now many many guys are asking me saga do i need to pay some amount to learn spark no you can go with the community edition of databricks and so see do not learn spark you know in i mean in on the my system in on the vms because nowadays very 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 less companies are using you know spark uh, you know on premises spark so it's better to go with the databricks now what is databricks you might be thinking database nothing but a cloud platform of uh, spark we can say where the i mean where the spark is being used to process the data right so you do not need to worry about how to create a your cluster how to manage the uh, notebooks and all there is everything is available okay uh, you, you can watch my videos and so so now after that you have to choose that which cloud technology i should be i i should learn see everyone every cloud has a good market right but to be honest go with aws first okay because aw i mean i have seen that many product based companies you know are using aws right if you are someone who is planning for service based company then you can go with azure but you know if you are planning for you know you, if you are planning for a uh, product based company then i would suggest to go with to go with you know to go with azure right and gcp also you can learn it's totally up to you now after this if these are the four things apart from this we have data uh, data you know mart i mean not data mart data modeling concept data warehouse concepts right once it is done to see to be on data mart and data data modeling or data warehouse concept is not that much difficult right but it's very important right if you just you know uh, take some raw kind of files right and if you try to load that data i mean segregate that data into dimension and fact table then you will understand it and that is a very important concept and very important uh, uh, question also which can be asked in the interview when you are giving a interview in the re, in the product based companies okay and after that you know if you are okay if you want to explore right then you can explore power bi or tableau or any kind of reporting tool right and after that if you if you have more interest to learn new new tech or new skills then you can explore devops okay so now so now you might be thinking hey saga why you are saying everything like we are data engineer we are not whole we are we are we are not whole it uh, no team right see if you i mean if you are going for a job right if you are going to you know do a job 9 to 5 job then you can definitely you know uh, complete your job you can earn some 20 30 lakhs package right you will be happy but if you if you want to you know do some freelancing if you want to you know uh, you know uh, earn some good money in the com from the companies right then you have to know everything see uh, i mean in the previous organization where i was right i used to write the code i used to write uh, uh, i used to create power bi i used to create devops pipelines so i learned something something i mean i'm i'm not saying that i i was very you know perfect right but i was okay okay i know you know how to handle all this stuff now there might be now you know there might be person who only knows you know what is spark okay now now if that person try to change the company he will only say ki i know spark okay what else you know now if i am the competitor of him then if i say that you know i can do power bi i can do devops i can do you know some other other stuff then my chances my chances will be more okay so this is the reason you know why i am focusing every time that you know please learn if you are if you have the interest if you want to earn good money then focus on multiple tech stacks not not only one okay apart from this see there are many guys i have seen that you know uh, they are make and i have i have told this thing many times in my video that you know do not just learn the things try to implement those things via project okay so see 
even though if you do not have a real time project if you build some real time look like project then your chances will be more see how will you showcase someone uh, i mean how will you how will you showcase your knowledge to someone via project see if someone will ask you hey let's say you know hey sagar what is data frame what is spark what is you know how to read csv file from uh, adls and put it into a data lake like that see that is a very simple thing no everyone is everyone knows now if you try to give the proper project proper uh, proper architecture that you know i used to this i used to do ingest the data i used to clean the data i used to you know create a mart logic i used to create a publish logic i used to create a power bi like that if you can explain with a very deep knowledge then your chances will be more to get selected okay now that's true i hope that you understood and if you are ready if you know all these stuff then definitely you will go you go and build the project i am not saying take my project you can take any project but do not just take covid 19 project okay you will not learn anything to be honest whatever suppose you are aws data engineer right and if you want to you know migrate to this azure data engineering then you can take the same project of aws what you used to do in your companies right try to what try to what try to replicate the same thing in azure and vice versa okay so that you will learn something new hai na so uh, you know and you know uh, in suppose if someone is asking you about uh, uh, you know uh, how, what you used to do in your company this is the first question uh, you know uh, many people have been asking right in the interview then you can say my goal was my goal was to analyze i mean my goal was to do the uh, to make the whole pipelines from end to end and my goal was you know from analyzing the data till the reporting as well as the devops things right so it means that your task your duty was to create the pipelines from the starting when we create the pipeline first we analyze the data we understand the data is that what what needs to be shown in the at the end right once we understood that data then we start making the pipelines using you know some python code or using adf to copy the data right after that what we used to do we used to we then then we used to dump the data in the some you know raw layer and then cleans the data on top of cleans layer then you know making some checks null checks some data quality checks and then we create some business logic on top of that and then we publish it into the data lake like that we say okay so i hope that you have understood this and uh, you know please take my courses if you are okay if you want to build some real time project and if you do not have any knowledge in that okay i hope that you understood and likewise you know i will continue this kind of series so that you will understand what you should learn what you should not learn chalo thank you bye bye we'll meet in the next lecture